Hi guys, this is Parag here from Shilong. I'm excited to speak about how does the competition builds confidence. Now, it's been a while we are conducting competitions in uh, India in uh, various cities and various states and uh, we see very different people coming from different backgrounds and not necessarily these people are want to really develop their kettlebell sport career but at times are these people who want to increase their confidence and personally I also feel that uh, when you are getting into a competitive mode you primarily aim to build the confidence but not to really get into a area where you want to defeat someone and win personally when you ask me that is what I preach beating the numbers and getting into the technical sport getting into the middle should be a byproduct is personally what I feel and it comes but when you actually shift your focus on getting into a competitive mode and getting to beat someone and progress shifts your entire mindset the main purpose for the competition has to be you have to help it to build the confidence like yesterday we had Brian whose age is 57 and he was exposed to kettlebells and kettlebells sport a couple of months back by one of our leaders Sandeep from Shilong I am based in Shilong today I am in Shilong today so I wanted to make this special video because at the age of 57 when I was speaking to him he said I was into exercise but kettlebell lifting kettlebells since last couple of months has helped me to build my confidence in my work and that is what I am trying to preach through my level 1 workshops or courses or wherever you are seeing our leaders my preaching to them is first to help build their own structure own foundation mindset competition comes later at times I see many people getting into the competition mode when they are not really ready so I would first insist or what would be my suggestion based on the experience that the first phase of the training has to be to build the confidence has to get to understand the technique correct has to use the kettlebells or use your trainings to get your structural foundation first correct so that you do not land up into any kind of injury in India unlike other countries uh, we really get exposed to fitness very later in our age when we really get exposed to these exercises when we really have some problem say for example uh, obesity one of the problem losing the weight is also one of the challenge diabetes blood pressure various other sectors various other problems which we come across at the age of 25 at the age of 40 and then we get then we get into exercise so if the damage is done for past 30 35 years and we are getting into a competitive mode it is going to be very difficult because our mindset shifts totally so my prime purpose would be those who are uh, teaching kettlebells or those who are lifting kettlebells is first to understand this first entirely six months would be to develop your own structure your own foundation and the mindset and then slowly getting into the kettlebell sport because kettlebell sport will come later uh, and if you really are passionate to lift kettlebells and really stick to the, the sport you can stick to rest of the life but if you're getting first into the kettlebell sport just because you want to get into kettlebells then it's not a long run game you are bound to fall and I'm sure it has happened to many people so try to understand shift the mindset develop yourself first and once you are developed then that mindset with that mindset you'll be able to develop the culture of the kettlebell sport within yourself and when that culture of kettlebell sport is developed within yourself that help you to build the confidence and once the confidence is there then all the things are going to be very easy like initially when you sit in a plane and take off you know initially there are some hurdles and you you see most of the time once you go up the skies it is a smooth ride but uh, the initial rides are going to be a lot of hiccups and uh, once you are into up, up up the skies you can still remove the belt and move around similar it, the same thing happens with the fitnesses your initial building of the fitness has to be taken care by your coach has to be taken care by yourself and the most important part is to understand the correct mindset before you get into the sport any sport not not only kettlebells whether it's powerlifting whether it's also bodybuilding at times first develop the system first develop the uh, uh, develop the muscle of the sport what really the kettlebell sport athletes think about the sport and that is why the podcast is also there for you to understand 
when I'm trying to give you, uh, when I'm trying to share all this information via podcast, is to un- enter into the mind of the best athletes and to really make you understand what do really they think about it. And that is why I really want to give this message to end of end 2021. And when you enter into 2022, you really have some set agenda until June. And from June to December, that is for six months, is a different agenda. And from June to December 2022, it will be a different agenda. I wish you good luck. I hope you have liked this small information. Please give me a thumbs up if you have really liked it. And I really look forward for your comments again. Thank you very much.